Why are honey badgers dangerous? Hello, welcome to those random thoughts in this video we will talk about why honey badgers are dangerous. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more entertaining videos. So let's get started. What is a honey badger? The honey badger is the only species of the genus Malawara. It belongs to the family of Mustelidae, including badgers, weasels, ferrets, minks, wolverine, and other animals. Despite its name, it looks more like a weasel than a skunk. It has a long body with tough skin that can be up to 14 inches thick. The honey badger's skin is loose, letting it move freely even when a predator is holding it. Also, the spine is very flexible. It has small eyes and ears and long sharp claws, perfect for fighting. What does honey badgers eat? Honey badgers are carnivores who will eat almost anything they can find. Its favorite food is honey and bee larvae, which it gets by breaking into beehives, even those made by killer bees. It's how it got its name. The stinks can't get through its thick skin, so it usually doesn't get hurt. But sometimes it does. It can also handle venom from snakes, and it often eats poisonous snakes like the cobra. It eats most of its food like rabbits that it digs out of caves. They eat the whole animal, including the fur and bones. It can consume a turtle's shell because it has a strong jaw. They also eat frogs, eggs, berries, roots, bulbs, and dead animals. Farmers say that when it's hungry, they can also rip the roof off of your chicken coop, kill your all chickens, and break their eggs, leaving behind a bloody mess. Once it finds your chicken coop, it can be hard to keep it away and dangerous for your dogs. Does badgers attack humans? Human beings have an insatiable curiosity of where they fit into the greater scheme of things. One of how they accomplish this goal is by analyzing the best ways to communicate with the native flora and fauna of the area in which they are situated. Therefore, it's not surprising that one would have the question, are badgers dangerous? Under However, this does not necessarily make them dangerous in and of itself. Badgers' interactions with the members of the other species are typically apolitical. They're widespread and there are many different species in every region of the world. The characteristics and behaviors of each species are distinct from one another. There are solitary species of badgers, while others live in communities with anywhere from 2 to 15 other individuals. The species found in North America prefers to make it home in caves that either rabbit or foxes have abandoned in the past. The majority of the other species of the badgers live in communities and excavate extensive tunnel system known as sets. Are honey badgers bulletproof? It's another statement that's often made. Like many myths, this one is based on a little bit of truth. The honey badger has very thick skin. The author of Donovan Roseware's book, The Carnivores of West Africa, says that their skin can withstand spears, arrows, and even a machete. As for bullets, honey badgers are strong, but they can't beat everything. Roseware says in the same book, that you can kill them with a club or a bullet to the head. Even if some of the stories aren't quite true, it's clear that the honey badgers are hard to kill. But on the other hand, why would you want to? Are badgers aggressive? Badgers are not mean to people, and they usually try to stay away from them. However, badgers can be aggressive when they feel threatened or need to protect their young. When in danger, these mustelidae can get very angry. Even though they are usually calm and have small bodies, they can stand up for themselves and fight bigger animals like dogs, lions, wolves, and eagles. Badgers can catch and kill fast-moving animals like snakes, rabbits, and birds when hunting. Also, they are strong enough to kill prairie dogs. They are brave and will even chase big animals away from killing like loins. They will dig their prey out of hiding and anything caught in their jaws won't be able to get away. Their bodies are built to help them stay alive. Their loose, thick skin makes it hard to grab them. Badgers can turn over inside their skin, which means they can get out of predators' jaws by wriggling. Their strong jaws and sharp teeth makes it easy for them to bite through the skin of a predator. Their flexible clawed arms can protect them from attacks from above. And their speed and ability of dig help them hide from danger. When they are attacked, badgers fight back hard and don't give up. A hungry predator often won't hunt a badger because the amount of energy it would take to kill the badger finally wouldn't be worth the amount of food it would provide. Do badgers attack humans? Badgers do not attack people. 
because they usually don't care about the other species, including humans. A badger would only attack a person if it had been threatened or was in a tight spot. Badgers usually walk away from people when they see them, if they don't have to. Honey badgers are the most dangerous to humans out of all the badgers. They are the strongest and most aggressive members of the badger family. They will use tricks and even tools to get out their enclosures and back into the wild where they belong. If a badger attacked a person, it could do a lot of damage because it has sharp, strong claws that could seriously hurt a person. People are told that if they see a honey badger, they should get as far away from it as quickly as possible to stay safe. Badgers have been more dangerous to humans than humans have been to badgers. They still hunt these animals, both for fun and to make money. Also, farming and building roads and other infrastructures you move into the badger's natural habitat and hunting grounds, destroying their food sources. Because of this, badgers have become a problem. Badgers dig tunnels that can cause problems with irrigation system and could hurt horses and other domestic animals. Badgers have also killed pets and farm animals. Honey badgers would also attack and destroy beehives. Because of this, badgers are now a threat to people's ways of making a living. So farmers and people who keep bees will kill badgers to protect their business. But not all interactions between badgers and people are bad. Since badgers eat insects, snakes, rabbits and mice, which are harmful to humans and their way of life, their presence in the ecosystem help keep these pets away from people's homes and farms. That's all for today's video. If you made it this far, click the subscribe button and hit to the bell icon for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.